morning to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Oxenfree, a 2D game that I've been meaning to play for the longest time because when it came out, it came out a while ago and I, I have gotten a lot of requests from people to play this, they've said that I would really enjoy it and I think so too because whatever I've seen, the screenshots always looked very nice, the trailer is very nice, I've heard it has a good story, it has good voice acting, yeah, there's dialogue options that I can pick, so I think it's going to be a fun little adventure. I don't think it's too long a game. I think it's it's only a couple of hours long, but I'm interested. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be a really cool thing, so let's start a new little adventure together. Um, okay, let's just get in. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, <laughs> this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Oh, we're in already. Look at that art style. Hey, still with us? Oh. Haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Okay, uh, my mind drifted. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. She sounds familiar. So you all moved in? Um, not. Okay, I'm going over here really. to do this. I just got in this morning. Sit and there. This is gorgeous. <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a. Oh, that's actually, weird. Actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. That, that's no, listen. Wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah, they hit it up. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. Shit! It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly I ruined the, the story, sorry! History class. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, oh. um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? A stepbrother, just some I don't guy. Know how people math works. Uh, he's just a guy. What else would he? Be? God, I didn't know what to say. No, but isn't there like a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house, sharing your toothbrush, wearing your clothes. No, that's Eating weird. Your food. No. That's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like the concept of just getting a new That's, sister? Like I don't actually puppy, think that it it's weird awful? in real life. <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. Oh, it's these so, two. I'm slow. How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like oh. Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. <laughs> I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> and if you pick uh, up so how do you it's a recording. Know? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This is cool. I like this. This will be like the before show. Fine. Just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. <laughs> and it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah. Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right. Patient zero. AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so... Probably, probably. yeah. Um, yeah, good. This is cool, I like... There's like a weird pseudo 3D thing going on, like when I went up the stairs. And also, I don't know why he didn't click with me that they're the stepbrother and stepsister. I thought I was out. commenting on how it was weird for him to have a new stepsister. It's Alex, not weird at all, I, I was referring to the here. fucking toothbrush thing, that was weird. Cheese! There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. <laughs> hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Uh, of course! Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Okay. I'm pressing shift. There's the ah. little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. 
She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Oh, okay. 88.3. Okay, I went the other way. Five years studying the effects of it's, uh, to the left of the dial? Cool! I actually have, like... Three. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I cool. woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so... Hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. What does that even mean? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. We must I be tooted. Close. <laughs> There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. What are you talking about? I have no idea what this game is about, by the way. I don't know, like, the general premise. I've just seen screenshots of it and I've heard good things. That's a cute picture. Look how freaking cute we are. So cute! CUTE! <laughs> I'm assuming that the radio has a big part to play then, since this is like radio waves all freaking out. You look different than I expected. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, <laughs> you can bum one off me if you're empty. No! I forget if you're a fellow addict. I don't oh, smoke! You know she doesn't smoke either, so... <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's okay, like let's just see what he has to say. It's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just What's be a going on? Case, whatever. Your voice is still pretty clear Ren for someone who just ran nice. off. He's funny, you know? Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just... What did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. Oh. I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Oh, not that's that it's nice. Not been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade, however that goes. Yeah. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and proud of it! <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. No problem, it's cool bruh. how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I want to be nice to him. I don't want to be a dick. I heard your mom's dead! <laughs> Nice at night. I'd be nice. Isn't it? Hey, heard your mom's dead. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. No, we can we can stay a while. Stay a while and listen. Can I not ask about his dead mom or how he was in jail or something? Ooh, I run. When the flag is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. I like this whole thing where I can actually go up to the buildings and everything. It's a very, it's a very cute art style to it. Kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. What? A quiche is kitschy. Is that just how you pronounce it? A quickie? Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it, or maybe they just had a parade. Sure, either one. Yeah, 
They had a parade. That's what it is. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Okay. Is this, is this game going to give me a little spooks? For some reason, I have no idea why. I'm getting Life is Strange vibes from it. I think it's just like the whole teenage life aspect of things. And like the music for some reason reminds me of it as well. I don't know why. I just thought I'd throw that out there in case anybody else is having the same vibes. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. 102.3, got it. I think they said it's 102. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy Blackburn. in a way, right? On yeah. 28th, I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Yeah. Named after the Hawaiian oh. god of the sea. Okay, I guess we're done listening to that. Radio turns off, the music just kicks right back in. Uh, but yeah, the voice acting is actually pretty damn good so far. I like it. Parks and facilities office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. My sister's name is Allison. <laughs> nice! Me and Ren got some stuff in common. Good job, Ren. I like you, buddy. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament. But or I want a shop! I feel you, Alex. Oh wait, no. Hello, Shift kids. does not run. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay. God, this art style is gorgeous. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s okay. who would sneak <laughs> dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. I yeah, said kind of cute. Like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina Hyde, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So, it's a to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. Nice. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. <laughs> weirdo caves. The whole reason Alec. I think the dumpster will get us over. If Damn! I keep skipping but, dialogue by well, doing the things. I thought try. he'd just keep talking. That's Anyways, something I'm going to have to get used to. The ah, there we go. Use, keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, no, no. I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. <laughs> weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds, and they're. It's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it. It's once. pretty creepy, whatever. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones... <laughs> drum roll, please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... So what if I don't am? Get too used All to right, it. so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just 
if you are- Oh god! Middle mouse clicking opens up a map. Okay, so that's the people we're going to meet. Gee, that was strange. <laughs> oh cool, so we can see everything. Bridge stand, Harden Tower, Two Wee Woods, Campgrounds, Epiphany Field, Beacon Beach. I guess we're going down here. How do I get rid of it? I'm- Oh, there we are thinking of leaving. I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. Can That's we all. go? That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Okay, we're going over the thing. We're going over the thing. <sighs> Sheesh. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. <laughs> I can tell- Such a fun party atmosphere! No tension at all! <laughs> But it's nice that when you- when you cut off their dialogue, it does it- Sometimes it does it immediately, like an actual conversation. And then it picks up the conversation afterwards. That's a really nice touch, because most games it's like, they want to cut off dialogue, but there's that like, two second pause, where they don't actually cut it off. The other person has stopped talking, and then they butt in, and it's just- it feels really awkward. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should- I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's- so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, alright? Why Deal? wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Hey! Oh, <laughs> and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, alright? You don't have to hear everything. Yeah, I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. <laughs> it's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Can we move on now? Look at it! We're like the Peanuts or something! Just like, three buddies off for an adventure! The music's really good, I like Reginald, that. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story, what was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well... Hey, okay, so this is Nona. started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. What if she ends stepbrother. up liking him? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool Sorry. North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... Our parents are married? Uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. It's not that yeah, complicated, well, Clarissa. Now this is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, <laughs> we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... Oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? This is <laughs> That's it. it! That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, oh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Not like that. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. You're and a you bitch! I just met. Shut <laughs> up! Yeah. Well, sorry. I accept your apology. Okay, I didn't get in a choice to pick that. God, she's so abrasive! Are we supposed to like you? Or something? Butts here. <laughs> okay, off we go! Let's go to the beach! Let's go to the Clarissa. The beach! <laughs> you get it? No? I thought it was a pretty clever joke. This is fun so far. I like this. This is cute. Ooh, and it's gorgeous! Oh, I'm supposed to be moving. Fire! Man's great equalizer. This is our razor! So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. Jason Kruger. Right? Nice. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. Oh! No! Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, 
the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. I'm gonna drink and until I forget who you are. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. Ow! It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. <laughs> uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! Good oh, one! Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just face it. I mean, I, I I like her as a friend, right? Don't pressure her. I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This was very enjoyable. Fuck! We all know he's lying. We just can't prove it. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> Whatever, man. That's okay. selling out, Ren. Turn. I do right. want them to he get together, to though. Ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Lay it on I me! I just have to think about which nerve I want to I'm so an open book. pinch. Oh, please. Shoot. I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? It's fun. First, it's funny. I don't know. I marry Nona. Man, technically, so he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, screw Clarissa because screw you, you Clarissa. Clarissa, obviously. <laughs> obviously, you're not gonna call her out on that. No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. <laughs> and wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Yeah, because you asked the question. Here. Hey, <laughs> you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. Okay, settle down. What a douche. So, Alex's turn? Okay, what do I get to yep. ask? Lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. Uh, What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man. Let's um, ask Nona. Nona. I don't like Clarissa. <laughs> yes. All right, let's uh ever pee in a pool. Do uh, you like red? Fun and easy now. So, does Clarissa ever do anything that just like really annoys the crap out of let's you? Let's have fun with it. <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. That is kind of annoying. <laughs> what? I barely do that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there had to be something. Okay, all right, huzzah! You got me. Let's just get on with it. No one's getting um, slapped. Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem <laughs> written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out. So my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's <laughs> turn now. Neat. Alex. You got a new brother. Pretty exciting. Sure. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Sure. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Okay, Unsure. get on with it. What's your it's question? It's a lot to take in and adjust to. What's your point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. Bitch! And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Shut let's up! put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I okay, don't... Okay, just... Get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But you know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. God, I hate her. Okay, Clarissa. You what? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Agreed. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should... Let... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we... What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. 
So you're such an Please. asshole. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. <laughs> Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the <laughs> fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. <laughs> okay, come on. Where Am are I you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is Am I nice? going? If you like bars on the windows. I'm gonna stoke the fire again, because I want to see it flare up, because it was cool. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, I'm on it! Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Get the fuck away from this lady. Nona, you are cool! <laughs> I'll push you're you chill. Oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never you're ready. God. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, the uh... Oh, the cave. We went to that What's weird your best? Tunnel? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Uh... Five. Weird mm, enough. Probably a five. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. I hope hey, that we tap into some radio alien yourself. signals. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, <laughs> and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but you know you could have and you didn't, so thanks. Yeah, Ren. About Nona. What? Did she say anything? Aww. Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. Maybe you should just give her a little Yeah, space, she sounds like she doesn't you know? want to be like... Really? I thought you girls like to be pursued. No, no, we like a challenge. We like something to catch. That's why they call just it... Just don't catch. force it! Oh, alright. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean I that am. literally... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, no. Magic? What does that mean? <laughs> Is he getting high? It means they're enhanced <laughs> with certain <laughs> qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Take a magic a trip to Magic Cupcake okay, Town. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand Ooh. basically right around here, and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay, cool. Um, I told him to leave How Nona alone slightly because she she sounded You'll like know. she didn't want. Trust me. He sounds like he's been a bit too forceful, and she's like, "I would, so but." So just pull out your radio. I got it. Let me talk to the people at home. That's weird. I'm already picking up Morse. Okay. This is a cool mechanic. I like this. Nothing super weird. Okay, let's go way back up. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting Morse. Am I supposed to be getting something else? If I- I wish I understood more, so I wish I understood what that was actually saying. Nothing? Is the Morse the only thing? We were getting something here. Okay, let's let's just go over here and check. I want to check all of them. Any day. Again, more Morse. Am I supposed to click something to get you to acknowledge this? Oh, maybe you actually have to go over to them and do it. While we're young, please. Uh. Okay, we're gonna get the Morse again.
There you go! It's like a wee in the background. That was all. Holy crap! Whoa! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... How cool. can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, it's just crazy, then. Because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too. I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Okay, that was awesome! I really hope there's some sort of, like, ghosts or aliens or something in this game. That this is awesome! So cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's, like, weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Oh. She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Kind of? I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Yeah, you just said where the stones are, so yeah, it would make sense. Let's go this way first. Nothing. We're going way back. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Sci-fi! Scary. It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Oh, I love this shit! There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Can or I find this? it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's some it's lost type in. of shit. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> cool pool. <laughs> he's fucking, Fortune he's favors high the as bold. fuck. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the map. <laughs> Measured the magic man. It's cool getting to see like proper close ups of their face. It's awesome. I hope there's some weird, creepy secrets going on down here. This game has officially piqued my interest. 10 p.m. Okay. This is awesome. Because I love when games. Have like some sort of mystery or something going on, and especially if it's anything that has like weird, creepy sounds, because it sounds like aliens or monsters. So I love that shit. Jonas, Jonas. I need to know who she's voice acted by, because she sounds so familiar. That's what I do, by the way. Whenever I'm, whenever I watch a movie or a TV or some or a show or something, I'll always sit down. If I hear a voice in it, I'm like, I know that voice, and I have to like look it up immediately when I do. I'm not going to do it now, cause for let's play or whatever. But usually, I, usually I'm fairly good at placing voices. But God, she sounds so familiar. I feel like I've heard her somewhere before. Jonas. Are you dead? Did you get swallowed up by the black monster? The black smoke monster? Okay. I'm gonna just follow you in now. There it is! Buddy! Jonas, seriously, where are you? Okay, something happened to him. Oh, the light's flickering. What if I could take out my radio? Oh, I can just take it out here. I think I'm supposed to be at those rocks. 
Okay, yeah. It seems like I'm probably always gonna have to be near those rocks, but that's cool! That's a very neat mechanic. Especially considering it's actually like a radio. Jonas, are you dead? Wait, is that him floating? Jonas? Why would a guy bring oh. an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Oh, yeah. That's a good question, Alex! Okay, can't go that way. Oh, the lights are flickering. Oh, this is spooky. I love it. It's awesome. It's very, um, Twin Peaks. Sit a man. What? Oh, hi. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. See a man about a dog. Okay, I couldn't really read it properly first. Didn't you hear ah, me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. Yeah, it was me. Isn't this place <laughs> incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's honestly creeping me out. I feel like we're in Satan's underground lair. We're in Satan's <laughs> butthole right now. It's a little creepy, but I mean, it's all just a cave. Just a natural cave. It's all natural, baby. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kind of. Oh! I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? It's me. I failed geology. Ghosts! There was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah! Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Cool! Creepy-ass caves and demonic sounds coming out of it! God, it's gorgeous! Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cool. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light I thing? do! Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle <laughs> rainbows? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so... It's I guess possible! <laughs> I think this is all Saw the man, but not the dog. in those weird signals out there, and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Tri Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? Yeah. And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Alex just... Look, I think you tuned in the triangle when we were outside. So let's see what else happens if you tweak the dial some more. Oh my god. Is this. The fuck? Are you. Is this. You? Are you doing this? Uh, I think. Uh, I. I think. Should I. Should I. Oh gosh, should I keep going? What's happening? I can't even. Like, what is. Am what? I opening a portal? I know, I, I know. Should I stop? I don't want to summon the demons. Okay, I don't know where the next point is. How finicky is this thing? There we go! Got it! Oh, it is like a fucking portal! What the... Hello? Dear Tell Everyone. Uh, hello? This is insane. What the fuck? 
recognize him. It's like it's uh, using who, radio words. Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bobtail. Shave. Tail. Sleeping. Time. Time. Down. Is. Possible. That's what you mean. I... I, I don't know what you mean, so I can't... Bobtail. Leave. Children. Bye. Others will see them soon. Yes. What? What? Submarine. Submarine. What the fuck just happened? It was using like words on the dials of the radio from different broadcasts to try and make sentences. That was awesome. We're also creepy as all hell! Alex! Alex! Yes? Whoa... Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You alright? I... think so? I don't know. God... <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I- Uh, don't touch that, please. <laughs> I really prefer not telling But I WANNA! Have you ever had a moment where you're standing on a ledge and you just- You just wanna just, like, jump off and just see what it's like? Yep. No. Let's just Apparently use the that's a very common human somebody. thing. I don't know. This is kind of exciting. Right? Dude, I'm into this shit! Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got Not really out of the laser light show from hell, so... All right. I guess. What? If you want to play it safe, never play on the railroad tracks, right? Hardened Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major... Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip work. Major <laughs> Dick Harden? I wouldn't go. Oh, that would be the best oh, name to have! I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it, but if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So. Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, alright? I have a splitting headache and like. I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Imagine if fucking Ren had come with us all high as balls and this happened. He'd be like, I'm freaking out! Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. Okay. Radio technology portal holes, time travel dimensions. <laughs> Amazing! That's very pretty though. Ooh, I like this. I can see the cave, <coughs> but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. So, uh, did we actually time travel or something? Because didn't they talk about the submarine that went down and the monument was there for that? What if that was the submarine I was tapping into from a different dimension time? Woohoo! I love this shit. I love sci fi. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. You were in jail, weren't you? That's why you're able to lockpick. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. Did you break into places you weren't supposed to? Jonas? Oh, did you do it? See? I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Huh, cool. Heh, <laughs> neato. Whoa, God. Okay, then. Is... um... Is anyone there? 
They're fucking demons from the nether realm. It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? Did you hear something? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. Ugh. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on Horror! right Horror! Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Horror Island! I get that all the time. Being an Irish person, having an accent like that. That and saying mirror. Everyone's like, mirror? It's a mirror! Shut up, leave me alone. Fence should be off now. Sweet! But, but um, don't take offense. Ah! Jesus! Okay. Hello? Demon? Hello? Alex? Alex? Ren? Is that Ren? you? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank you! Vishnu, I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff, I have no idea what happened, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone, I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever, just- Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know. So how it did I happen to him. him. Wait, I, I I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something. Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello. Oh Jesus Christ, Alex! Why are you answering it? This it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa in the tower and Jonas is with oh, you God. of course. Okay, look Clarissa Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse So if you're at least holding it together, wait, wait, then... wait, I I'm at Fort Milner and I can't I don't remember like the last hour and it's like really scaring the crap out of me I'm trying to call somebody but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can it says it can contact Kamina But I don't I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys Look, want- Look, Carissa, just- You have a radio, work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Wait, Alex! Ah, oh, no! Just now pick I me feel up, bad. okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really... Not great. Look, Alex, just- Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't- And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Clarissa, you still there? Oh, what am I she not supposed to do it. not? Of course. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. I don't want to be a total asshole. Oh god, you're the opposite sides of each other. I don't want to be an, uh, a complete asshole to Clarissa. No, what Ren was high as fuck, and then he got teleported somewhere. So right. Our he might be freaking out a little. Convinced. Let's get this done and get off this rock, like the badasses we are. Hell yeah! Yeah, righteous. <laughs> Fucking hell yeah, dudes! We are badasses. Went into a cave, found some flickering lights, lit that shit up like the Fourth of July. Now we're down here, rocking out, helping people. Step. Brother, sister, away! It's really cool, though. I didn't know any like any of this stuff was in the game. So I, now, now I'm definitely interested. This this is right up my alley. Okay, so we're going to Fort Milner. First, we have to head to the right when I get down here. Okay, it's kind of annoying that you middle mouse click. Well. Yeah, middle mouse click to open up the map, and then you have to press escape to get out of it, unless there's another button. Because right click opens the radio, as well as shift, but right click also gets rid of the radio, so... I don't know. Come on, brother! 
Here we go! Harden Tower Epiphany Field. Okay, so I have to go to Epiphany Fields. That's a cool name for a place. The Epiphany Fields. I've had many a great thought on the Epiphany Fields. Actually, it sounds like a place where people love to go get stoned. The Epiphany Fields. Dude, I got an Epiphany. Oh, that's fucking awesome. So, just curious. Wait, how do we get to her? Wait, that was the Harden Tower. Two E Woods. How do I get to her? But, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Yeah! Yeah, okay, but what does it all mean? That's between you and your priest. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa. Hi! Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. She sounded sort of scared. Like in Dire Straits' actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition Hunter. of trouble there is, so... Can you lockpick this door? Oh god, the sound is awesome. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out... Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. And well, they're not messing around. Does um. the fine print say something about being shot? Jonas, just chill out. Relax a little. You're being very paranoid. Did you eat the magic cupcakes? It's like, it's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? What do you think? Keep looking. I think- Let's keep looking. I think I hate her. Jesus. You're probably right. Can we go any further this way? Hop! There we go. She says she's in a gym or something, so it seems like she might be in the main building. I'm a coming, Clarissa! Don't you freaking worry about it. Ooh, I love thunder. Okay, nothing fucking works apparently. Where are these leading to? Relay point? No! Okay, maybe I actually have to go to the outpost thingy. The little tower. Dude, we are so in sync! Do you see how we jumped down there together? We not might not be blood brothers and sister, but by god, we sure have this thing down. Geo golly Williker. I'm go I'm going up to this. Clarissa! You okay? I hope she's not dead. Shouldn't be dead, but <laughs> Let's head on up! Jonas! I don't know what I'm hoping to find up here. That light. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. Yeah. Getting some country music. Come on, tap into I something. Sounds like the fucking Three Stooges. Oh! That sounds freaky. There we go! Yes! What's happening? Dinner time! It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? I I am. All right. What the fuck is happening? All right. I know the answer's no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa. So 
Let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for- Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been, like, a really bad thing in my experience. Yeah! Have you oh, never really? watched a horror movie? Even automatic doors like in supermarkets? That's different. I guess. Clarissa? Go to facilities. Okay. Two kids gonna die tonight! Maybe. Probably. I hope not. Oh, Carissa? no, 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 no. Oh, it locked behind us. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, we didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Yeah, that's true. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just Dude. what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? You know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know and I don't really care, so... Alright, hey, it's old news, I get that. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. Tall, brunette, maybe a big hat. Red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world. Somebody You're describing Carmen San Diego. <laughs> oh yeah. You know that kind of explains a lot. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode of Oxen Free here. Very good game. Very strong start so far. I really hope that this is able to live up to the mystique and premise that it's set up already. Cause I'm hooked! I'm hooked on monkey phonics right now because that that was really good. It the style and atmosphere of the location alone are already exactly what I love. It's very very Twin Peaks, very Alan Wake, which was also inspired by Twin Peaks. Uh, I love these sort of like these boat towns and the mountains and the forests and they're kind of isolated because they do lead for a lot of very spooky things like Gravity Falls type of stuff. I love that so much. It's very very cool. And then when you add in the sort of, the sort of weird mystery of crazy sounds happening and then being teleported somewhere. And I love time travel stuff and I love sci-fi. I love Easter eggs, I love secrets. I love all this kind of stuff, so it's hitting all the right notes for me so far. Voice acting is good. I like the characters, there's a lot of personality to them. Um, it really makes me feel like I'm getting a wealth of knowledge from what they're talking about. Sometimes it is a bit ham-fisted, like it's putting a lot of stuff in your face, but I guess you could just stay silent and not actually interact with it. Um, and I imagine if you're playing this game not as a let's play and there's a lot of dialogue options going, ar going around, it really makes it feel like there's a lot of depth to what's happening. And I really like that. It's adding a lot of character and, uh, as I said, personality to not only themselves, but to the town that they're in. I really like that. It's very well set up. The music is good. The sound effects are good. Art style is phenomenal. I love it so much. The, the A lot of the backgrounds in this, like the initial start where you're on the boat, that could just be like a freaking a desktop background on its own. Very, very good. I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am so far. I think this is going to be a really cool little series. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and... High fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys. Now we'll see all you dudes. Happy So you're 43 and you've been grounded for over 30 years. So you're about 13 when this happens, at least. It's a tie. It's a draw. It's, it, okay, no, they're not gone. They're still going around. It's like a freaking octopus underwater. Mmm. What secrets are we gonna find?